Hello, it is Wednesdays with Chizzy Boo. This week's topic is FTM stereotypes. God, I hate making videos about stereotypes because, like, I'm so opposed to stereotypes. I guess everybody is because they're called stereotypes, right? So, FTM stereotypes. You know what? You know, no. We're not doing this whole, like, trans guys act more masculine to sh overcompensate their masculinity because blah, blah, blah. We're not going to do that. We're gonna do something else. So an FTM stereotype, you know what I was just thinking, actually? I was trying to think of what FTM stereotypes are. And then I thought, my shit trans guy say video is literally all stereotypes of, of, of trans guys. So, um, asking if this shirt looks flat and asking for the help with your shot is not really a stereotype. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore, I'm fucking tired. Wait, is it like FTM stereotypes, like FTMs do these things or people think about this to FTMs like like all FTMs are straight or something like that is that a stereotype I don't even know what a stereotype it is anymore what the fuck am I talking about it's not true <laughs> um I was just thinking about like if you go to the FTM groups on Facebook all these people are always like do I pass or how old do I look that a lot of people do that hey my hair matches my tattoo a little bit <laughs> Ooh, what's an FTM stereotype that you guys turn gay which is funny, because I just said a stereotype is that all FTMs are straight. Isn't that funny? No, I don't know what I'm talking That T makes you gay. There you go. That T makes you gay. Um, it ain't true. It ain't true. It ain't true. I feel like we talked about this. I feel like this T can make you gay, that was a topic not that long ago. I... Don't know what I'm saying. I like the stereotype that we're all like dude bros. Bro brother? I'm kidding. I'm not a fan when people call me brother or bro. I mean like do whatever you want, but I'm just like, I'm not gonna call you brother. <laughs> <laughs> I think the biggest stereotype is that we're always in our underwear. Can we just talk about that? Like everywhere we are, always in our underwear. Whatever. I don't know what I'm talking about. This video sucks. I'm sorry. <laughs> I think that a lot of people think that tea is like a magical cure and that when they go on tea everything is going to be great and change their life and so on and uh, it is true i mean like that part of it is true that it does change your life but it's not like a magical pill or injection or gel whatever that you take and then your whole life is better um because there's a lot of stuff you know that might resurface that you were repressing because you were like dysphoric about certain things that tea was about to give you and then you start getting chest dysphoria and so on so I think that that's a stereotype that we need to like debunk that is that uh, you, whatever that tea is not magic <laughs> it is magic for like outside but you might still feel like poo and that's okay you're allowed to still feel like poo even though you're on tea and don't feel bad if people are like well you're so lucky to be on tea all these people are not on tea stop complaining you're allowed to complain you're allowed to do whatever the fuck you want <laughs> okay that's it that's all i have to say have a swell week <laughs>